Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing water bucks. Unsurprisingly, water bucks are most often found near sources of water. These antelopes most often stay within a mile of a water source, and these sources include floodplains, swamps, rivers, and even human-made water sources. Water bucks remain near human-made water sources unless the water dries up or is turned off. These mammals are most prominently seen in West and Central Africa. They prefer savanna habitats with grasses, such as buffalo grass, as this is their main source of food. Water bucks most frequently eat whatever is most abundant in an area. They're not picky. On occasion, they'll also eat fruit. However, this is more of a delicacy for the antelopes. Regardless of their somewhat brutal nature, which we'll discuss in a moment, water bucks can be displaced by other antelopes, such as the Nyala, who will overtake a water buck's habitat if given the opportunity. Aside from these herbivores, water bucks have to watch out for carnivorous predators on the African savanna, including lions, leopards, cheetahs, wild dogs, spotted hyenas, and more. Water bucks are distinguishable from other hooved and horned species by the white ring encircling their rump. They stand approximately 4 feet tall at the shoulders and weigh 570 pounds on average. According to some observations, water bucks have a strong, goat-like smell. Only male water bucks display horns, which take five years to reach maximum length, growing just over six inches each year. The horns curve out and back, and have ridges until the last quarter, where they smooth out towards the pointed end. These are used for intimidation displays and disputes over territory. A majority of water bucks don't survive their first year of life, and males can mortally wound each other in combat with chest and side punctures. Their horns are not just for show, they'll use them to kill if necessary. If they make it to adulthood, water bucks live to a maximum age of about 15 years in the wild, although some individuals have been documented living slightly longer. These antelopes travel in small herds of about a dozen members throughout most of the year. However, they will form larger herds during the rainy season, when food is most abundant. A dominant male defends a territory year-round, but bachelor groups of younger males can pass through outside of the breeding season if they recognize the dominant male's authority. This is typically shown by lowering their head. Females travel with other females and their offspring. The rainy season is also the mating season, and the resident dominant male attempts to mate with any nearby females and corral them into his territory. Gestation in water bucks lasts 280 days, and they give birth to one to two babies at a time. The calves are born away from the herd, usually in a secluded area with cover, and they are left to find a hiding spot alone. The mother only returns to feed them periodically. Water bucks are extremely vulnerable during this month-long period before they join the herd proper. The less the mother visits, the more hidden the babies are. Weaning is about 280 days, and males leave shortly after to form bachelor groups, while females stay in their mother's nursery herd. For more facts on water bucks, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.